Hi, my name's Harry Mann. I'm wearing a green shirt. I've got blue eyes and mousy blonde hair. I'm sitting in front of some curtains on the floor in a bedroom. And this poem is called That Chapter on Tree Spotting. And it's from my book, Popular Song. Uh, I was reading a um, book of children's hobbies from the 1960s. And one that they recommend is, is, is tree spotting. And when I first saw tree spotting, I sort of imagined trees getting up and running off down the street. <laughs> that would be the last we'd see of them before they disappear in a billow of leaves. And, that, that, and then we'd have to spot them. Um, and, then, uh, and then it sort of slowly, gradually dawned on me, of course, since this book has been published, we've lost so many trees to Dutch elm disease and to ash dieback, um, among other things. And... Uh, and I really wanted to find a way to talk about trees and uh, the fact that they're sort of a living memory of light of the country um, and a living memory of, of weather. So uh, this poem kind of talks a little bit about that slow kind of dawning process. When you started to read this chapter, you might not have thought tree spotting could be an exciting hobby. Although, like trees, our roots show above and below the surface and trees have always been linked with the story of England. So this chapter will tell you, at the rate of a third of an inch, the speaking that trees do, from leaf tip to root, the luminivorous cumulus over us. Mid-speech majestic, the yew holds an owl up, like the World Cup. When you started reading this chapter, you might not have thought tree spotting could be an exciting hobby. Although there is no fidgeting in hedgerows or staying up late to wait for your quarry at the rate of a third of an inch a minute, arms moving arms away from arms, the arms of trees and you have always been linked with the story of England. Trickling with you your own private weather under a horse chestnut after this rain, after you started reading this chapter, the might of your thoughts had grown out of England, an exciting hobby, and England and our roots at a rate of a third of an inch a minute are linked above and below. So you are now England and the trees, the trees are spotting you, holding you up, an exciting hobby, like the World Cup. <laughs>